Susan Delagrange here, sitting in my office with my computer screen reflected in my glasses, as it so often is, ready to walk you through assignment number three, making a visual argument. As with the previous assignments, we're going to base our assignment on four important questions. First of all, why am I doing this? Second, what am I doing? Third, what am I going to make? And fourth, what will I learn from doing this project? We've actually added a fifth section too that I'll talk about in a few minutes on resources that are available to you in order to help you actually carry out this particular project. So let's get started. So the first question is why am I doing this? And the answer is pretty simple. Most acts of communication have a rhetorical purpose. They're designed to make people feel differently, think differently, or act in a different way. And visual rhetoric is no different. But we're used to consuming visual rhetoric and not producing it. So this assignment is an opportunity not just to look at posters and advertisements and other things that are constantly bombarding us with messages, but to produce our own messages in a rhetorically effective manner. The second question is, what am I doing? And the answer is you're going to create a public service announcement on a pressing social issue. Now this can be something of worldwide concern, like environmental issues, or it can be something that's very local. Uh, perhaps there's an empty lot on your block that's filled with trash and weeds, and you want to create a public service announcement to try, try to convince the people in your neighborhood to turn it into a community garden. Um, Whatever kind of public service announcement you do, though, you're first of all going to have to determine what kind of an argument it is that you want to make based on the particular audience that you want to reach. You're have, going to have to decide what kind of information you want to convey in order to make your argument, and you're going to have to think about what the ultimate purpose is. What action do you want to result from the public service announcement that you produce? So this is a very rhetorical situation, isn't it? You have to think about purpose, you have to think about audience, and you have to think about the context in which you're going to be deploying your particular argument. In order to do this, you're probably going to have to do some research. Now, some of it you can do on the web, you may have to do local research, uh, you may have to go out and interview people who are experts on the issue that it is that you want to address. But keep in mind, that although public service announcements rely on emotion to stir their audience to action, you have to make sure that you have your facts straight about your topic and that you project a strong ethos so that your audience will take notice. The third question is what am I making? And of course the answer is a public service announcement, but the form that it takes will depend upon the audience that you want to reach and the places where you think that audience is most reachable. A poster, for example, is great for large public spaces, but audiences move through those pretty quickly, and so your poster has to have a great deal of initial impact. If you want someone to spend a little more time with your public service announcement, perhaps a postcard is best. And finally, if you're thinking about something that can be shown in a high school auditorium or on a local television station, a short photo story or a standard 30-second public service announcement video might be best. This assignment spans week four and week five of the course. During week four, you'll be collecting assets for your public service announcement and thinking about what the clear, simple claim is that you want to make. We also hope you'll visit the discussion forums. That'll give you an opportunity to test out your ideas, consider different rhetorical strategies, uh, and think carefully about who your audience is and which appeals will be most effective in dealing with that particular audience. Then in week five, you'll submit your finished public service announcement to a third party resource like YouTube, and you'll send a link to your assignment plus a short reflective piece to Wexmooc, where it can be distributed for responses from your classmates. Now be sure to note the deadlines for this assignment. Your public service announcement is due on Wednesday, May 22nd, and your peer reviews for four of your classmates are due on Tuesday, May 28th. Now we've also provided some resources here that we think will help you with your visual rhetoric assignment. First of all, we've given you lots of examples of other public service announcements. 
posters, postcards, video, and audio public service announcements published by organizations like the American Heart Association and the Ad Council. The second thing that we've provided for you are some examples of web-based software, photo editing software and video editing software that are free and that you can use to complete your final public service announcement. Um, and finally, uh, we've provided some sources of assets for you. Uh, freesound.org, for example, has music that you can use that is royalty free, copyright free, and that you can just use as you wish for soundtracks or, or the like. Uh, Flickr is a source of Creative Commons images, uh, and the Creative Commons site itself is a really good resource for copyright free Creative Commons licensed images. The final question for this assignment is what should I be learning? We think that when you compose rather than just consume visual rhetoric, you gain a greater understanding of how visual persuasion works, and you can become a better citizen by deploying such arguments ethically. So, you'll learn how to choose images, words, and overall design to persuade a specific audience. You'll learn how to refine your claim. Remember, public service announcements usually have a single straightforward claim. And you'll learn how to fit a visual argument to a specific context. Well, that's all, folks. We look forward to seeing your public service announcements begin to develop next week.